Well, hello everyone. Hello from Sarasota, Florida. Yeah, we are over here at the Ringling Museum. We did this about a year ago. Well, I did this about he did a year. this. This and, is my first time here. And we were talking on as we were walking through. She's like, your video sucked. We're gonna make it better. I'm like, yeah, let's make it better. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what new, we're doing. If you're new, hello, hi, and welcome. Yeah, we are super excited to be back here in Florida experiencing things that we never did or redoing we, what we used to. Yeah, trying to get out of our little comfort zone area and more into Florida and mm -hmm. surrounding areas. And to show that Florida is not just about theme parks. Or beaches. Yeah, but there is a beach here though. I know and I love beaches, so well, it's just scratch that out. So everything here is self-guided. You can pay extra for for more um, to have like a privatized tour. But this is just really neat. And look, I mean, you can see the bay over here. It's just really cool. I'm really excited to take Amber in here. No food or drink. No food or drink. I'm thirsty. But we're really excited. Here we go. This is really neat. I kind of like it. Do you want this to be your house? Your desk. Yeah, could you imagine? That's cool. We're about to enter the reception room and just look. Look at that. It's amazing. Amber, it's amazing. Look at the ceilings. Cool. All right, so it'll be Amber and I, and then Kitty. <laughs> Amber's really excited because she can't see through our eye hole in our door, so you see this one. <laughs> but this is the grand entrance in the foyer. It's really cool. The tapestries are really cool too. Did you look up? Yeah. You're, also, you're supposed to look up always. Always. So I highly recommend you download the app and you can actually listen to the audio guide and you can go and experience the guide room and all that kind of stuff too. We're going to a dining room. Oh, I got stopped. I know. You know this kind of reminds me of? The house from um, The Haunting. Really? Yeah. This is like really European, so they had some, they had some money. Yeah. Look at the tiles. I know. It's like checker. I said that already. The glass. Look at this room. Look at it up too. It's a brow. It's a brow. And Amber saw the stained glass. It looks really nice. Look at that chandelier. It's amazing. So when we lived in Italy, I, we saw fireplaces like this. It was really cool. 
I wish we had you guys when we lived in Italy. I'm sure you guys do too. Yeah. That was my tour guide. <laughs> Every house needs a tap room, right? Look at that. Holy cow. And then you got elephants up top. I like it. Elevator next to the Grand Circus. It's really cool. Just look out there. Could you imagine? Could you imagine though, just sitting out here and just being able to look outside? Amber would die for a house like this. Do they have rooms? And then look at these old, we haven't seen stuff like this since um, Winchester. Yeah. And the Grand Does Staircase. Have light switches? Yeah. Imagine having and as always. How many desks there are. I know. For like a living room. I know. And the tapestries that they have here is awesome. If you look up, look at the stained glass. I like the stained glass. This is the kind of hope chest I want to have for our kid. 24 karat gold. Yeah. Oh my god. And just another shot out. Looks Did freaking amazing. AC back in that day? Probably not. Look, it looks like <laughs> maybe. They, maybe they did have AC back then. Dong. We need that so every time we have dinner, you just dong me. <laughs> yeah. And this is the ballroom. Look at this. Whoa. Look at the chairs. So it must be multiple. Well, but I just can't get past the view. When we when Amber found out we were coming here today, she's like, I don't know. And now she's just like, Oh my god, this is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It is. Holy crap. Look at the chandelier. I just noticed that. We gotta probably come back here and do a bigger tour where we go upstairs. Oh, no. That's really cool. Yeah. Like the primary? Where the bedrooms are and stuff? So oh. Maybe, I don't know. That part I don't know. I wonder if they would like, I wonder if they were like, hey, welcome to our home. <laughs> Party started. But. In all seriousness, um, you can do a tour that takes you up into the upper floors. And we have another dining room. Now this. This is where you have breakfast. Right. Because like, look, you're eating. Yum, 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 yum. And look at this view. Could you imagine? The windows open. Yeah. I like to eat here for breakfast. That's really cool. Yeah. So this is the valet's pantry. Look at all this china and silverware. Wow. Oh my god. Every, I, think, I think you need those. <laughs> She said, I need all of this. That's funny. Wow, this is crazy. Could you imagine being the one that's responsible for uh, for polishing and all that stuff with this? Jeez. Look at this kitchen. All stainless steel. Look at those refrigerators. Or ice boxes. I like these. Wow. Yeah. 
this is still a pantry. Oh, this is just the pantry? Yeah. Holy Look, crap. That's what it shows in here. Oh. This is just the pantry. We need a pantry like this. Yeah. But the ice box is like this. Yes. Ice boxes everywhere. And now this is the kitchen. This is really cool. And look at the stoves. That's really cool. Holy crap, this is awesome. And it was an ice box. <laughs> Kira. Wow, look at the bedrooms. <laughs> we don't get to see this. That's crazy. I know. And look at those. Ah, this is amazing. Like, yeah, I know. I wonder when this is going to go on the market. Just kidding. So the main door to go out is closed, our temporary office service. So we had to go through this way. And I can't wait to show Amber this. All right, here we go. This is a patio. And this is what we need for our house. When I came here, it was cloudy. And it was just bleh. But now it's sunny and it's cool. Look at that! Look at those houses over there. That's crazy. Yeah. It was not. It's not. At least it's not gloomy this time. Look at the. It is like a castle. I like it. Ever wants to buy this house? Yeah. Cause look at all of this potential. Yeah. It's. So, the, one of the stories I had heard was that they bring, they used to bring a boat up here with all their guests, and they would come out and then they'd go right through the doors. That's really cool. Could you imagine just sitting there in your bedroom, in your ballroom, living room, whatever? Looking at that pretty stained glass. And you're, and you're facing west. Could you imagine when during sunset? Oh, God. Yeah, I know. Amber, yeah. how'd you like the house? <laughs> I liked it. It was interesting. It was really pretty. It doesn't, like, you don't get the full effect unless you're here. Um, and I did think that the video that you did was rushed so it was kind of hard to see a lot of the things <laughs> um so it was cool i do recommend we probably need to come back and do the tour yeah yeah for up the upstairs yeah so what is your favorite musical i don't know what's one of your favorite songs from a musical <laughs> the greatest showman <laughs> okay <laughs> Who, who's the character's name in the greatest showman which one the main character, uh, Hugh Jackman. Bar Barnum. Do you want to go see his name? Sure. Like his real name. Okay. They have stuff here. Okay. She's excited <laughs> now. <laughs> so this is our mic. So like when I was doing this with Amber, I was like. <laughs> That's why I looked really weird and kind of see? like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I came over. Um, we went through the rose garden and everything wasn't really in bloom. There is some flowers up, but not all of it yet. But we're in, on our way to the circus museum. Yeah, but look at yeah. Oh, that is cool. There's kids playing in the playground. Oh, yes. Oh. That's cool.
Look at this. Barnum and Bailey. It's really cool, right? I know. It's a wagon shop. Do you remember when we went to the tattoo convention? Mm -hmm. And they had a guy from the Ringling? Yeah. That was pretty cool, right? Was it the sword swallower or the... Yeah, that guy. Oh, okay. The one that tried to stand on a ball and juggled and yeah. all that stuff. He came from here. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're staying. I don't know. Mm -mm. And his sign, if I remember correctly, kind of looked like this a little bit. What was the guy's name? I can't remember. Well, these are all ringlings. That's crazy. They all had a stash. I need to grab my stash. And I can become a ringling. <laughs> Amber says, nah. -uh. Wow. That's really cool. So in the other part of the museum, they show how all this stuff comes together. How many trains it would take and all that kind of stuff. And Amber, that looks like your hope chest that you had. A long time ago. And it's a wood shop. Oh, look how vibrant that will is. That's crazy. Yeah, like system of colors, like that. That's really neat. So that doesn't smell like paint. Are we going on this? We can. Oh wow, I didn't notice this last time. So this train was bought, I guess, in 1905 for $11,325. That's equivalent to $350,000 two years ago. Oh, cool. That makes sense now. That's neat. Yeah, for the opera singer. Amber, sing it. Never enough. <laughs> Amber, no. Never, never. <laughs> never enough. Enough fooling around. So this is John and Ma Mabel. Oh. Look at this bathroom. Do you remember when we were at the Titanic and they showed us the bathroom that they had? It was almost similar. Yeah, but you have an actual bathtub. True. And the bathroom, the toilet. Yeah. Someone slams the door open. Hey, I'm pooping here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that bed. Looks pretty comfortable. Oh wow. Where's the big screen TV? It's 1905. Yeah. That's H HD TV right there. Oh wow. That's really nifty. They do have fans. Look at the floor. I know. We go down there and play checkers. It's a kitchen. Make me an omelet. Actually. I think someone shows me a frittata. No. <laughs> Whoa. Is it, oh, it's a... Oh, it's a bunk bed. Yeah. Wow. And a toilet. There you go. Echo's room. Yeah. <laughs> and me when I'm in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I like the details on it. I know. It's like this whole train was hers. Yeah. She could go any room she wanted, like and a house. And play her servants and stuff. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it sonogram or whatever it's called? Sonograph? Right there. Sonograph, that's what it is. Sonogram for babies. I was close. <laughs> that was cool. And if you want to see where you're where you've been, because not where you're going, this is how you do it. Caboose. And and look, almost all the characters. Except the albino family. You had the bearded lady. Then you had the Texas giant. I don't remember. Mm -mm. You had the bird girl. No. But they were always doing different acts. True. So they weren't always the same either. And comment down below if you want to hear Amber sing that song, Never Enough. <laughs> I'll take you to it. Yeah. So if you've seen the movie, you kind of know some of these characters. But there's some. The Wonderful and Surprising English Dwarf. Sorry for the non-publicly correctness. And then the 500 pound man. They have more of a wall over here of all the different characters as well. It's really cool. So this every place closes at five every single day of the week. So we're gonna run out of time and we're gonna bypass this today. Yeah, we have an hour. But we um so we're gonna bypass this this today. We're gonna go because I don't know how long it's gonna take over the art museum. So we're gonna go over there. But I highly recommend going to our old other video and see what is in there. It's kind of cool. So we're gonna grow in here. Oh, they have a cafe upstairs. That's cool. But here's a store. I think it's mostly books and stuff. But we'll see what we can find. That's cool. Very European-esque. But there's a lot of books. A lot of books. So they have Ringling specific merch you can get. Amber saw this thing. It's pretty funny. This is my circus and these are my monkeys. So they have some pins. They're pretty expensive though. They're seventeen dollars. Ouch. You like to collect them in our YouTube room. I know. They have shirts and stuff like that too, which is kind of cool. The Ringling, they are Gideon shirts, so they're not always like the softest, but it's not horrible either. So we were looking through, we always look on the hunt for pins and magnets and stuff like that, and we found one, we finally did. It's for our YouTube room. It's for the YouTube room, it's the Ringling Circus Museum, and the total price is $7.95. Man, is it me or did it get warmer? It it got pretty warm. It says it's only 83. It did not feel like that. So be careful when you come in the summer. Drink lots of water. They sell water, uh, but I don't know how much it was. Mm -mm. And there's also a Starbucks above the store. So, but a lot of these places don't allow you to have drink. So um, yeah. just keep that in mind. I'm sure water bottle would be fine. Um, I already have my bias, so how'd you experience? How was your experience? I mean, I liked it. I just wish that for fifty dollars for two people with military discount, it was a little expensive. I think for what you saw in the house. Yeah. It's kind of like Graceland in a way. Like you can only see a certain amount, and then okay, here's all the stores and some museums of what he had. But at least at Graceland, it's what he had. Um, we were just talking about it, and I told Brian it would be cool to actually see what Ringling purchased and kept in the house and how he decorated and things right. like that instead of what the museum bought yeah. um, and stuff like that. So it, it's a, I think it's a little bit pricey in the fact that you have to come here a few times just to see all the museums and stuff is a little bit crazy to me. Right. If I remember correctly on the website, some of the privatized tours to go up in the house in the upper floors, I think they were running around a hundred dollars but i could be wrong I'll, I'll see what i can do about putting the, the prices down below yeah um would it be worth it i don't know i mean that's two hundred dollars a person that that can be pretty steep for if that's the true price so um other than that i i don't know i, I always find 
it cool to see how other people lived who had made um a name for themselves yeah and and how like like for Grayson like you mentioned it's Elvis it's right. Elvis like I was trying to say here uh, we all grew up watching uh, going to the circus and all that kind of stuff um the movie about P.T. Barnum I know it's all Hollywoody but seeing some of the names that we saw in the movie in yeah. it is really cool um we missed a couple of the art wings and then also the uh the circus itself museum so we'll have to come back yeah it's but, okay though um we like to do it for you guys um we like to kind of move out of our comfort zone mm -hmm. but if you like this video don't forget to like it please because we want to show it to others share with your family and friends um definitely leave comments yes we love seeing those comments yeah we do um it really does help a lot of times people don't realize that those little things actually help our our channel get our name out um so that way we have better uh, a better community and a better family of, of people and, and all that kind of stuff too so yep. don't forget to subscribe yes right exactly. up here and watch our, our re most recent video and we'll definitely see you guys next time bye guys